I think the KML culture uh, can be summarized uh, in one word, which is family. Uh, family? Um, this sense of belonging that you're part of something bigger than yourself and that it matters. Um, I, I think the KML culture could be defined as, as welcoming, uh, friendly, uh, kind of family oriented. Yeah, I, I would say uh, family is one of the things that pops into mind with culture here at, at KML. The KML culture helps me because it keeps me centered on God's Word. Obviously it's the subject I teach, uh, but it's also what we impress upon all of the students and staff here at KML. I mean, besides the fact that we teach God's Word each and every day, which I think is, I mean, it's the core of what we do. Um, a big part of it for me is, is just simply that people enjoy being here. Um, they enjoy being around each other and that, that genuine care and concern that we have for each other, the admiration and respect that I have for the, the people that I serve with is, uh, is a blessing each and every day. We love our students, <laughs> honestly, we do. We love, we love them being here, we love talking with them, we love teaching them. I mean, we're not always in love with them, <laughs> but they're pretty awesome in general. Students liking teachers is kind of an unusual concept, um, especially if you just look at it from a, an academic point of view. Um, but there's something more here, and again, that we share uh, the faith in Jesus Christ. Uh, well, I think, I think that it's a pretty unique situation that we all here at KML, uh, that our teachers really enjoy um, being with our students because we care about them individually as um, people and we care about their spiritual well-being rather than just their academic needs and their futures here on this earth. And that makes for a much deeper relationship with students uh, when you care about their spiritual needs. Well to me, uh, I think to me, students are more than just they're filling the seats and listening to me talk to them. It's the experience they have with you. The training here at KML is, is not just for here. Obviously, we are training them in the, the classes that they have, and, and we want them to excel in whatever career they have or going to college, things like that. But we really want to train them to be servant leaders in congregations, and that's what we really need. Uh, we need people who are grounded and who can take that lead uh, and help in congregations and to reflect that love of God uh, in the church, uh, but also throughout the world. I think that in taking an interest in, in, in our youth at KML, that people in congregations everywhere are investing in their future. I mean, this is the future of our, this is the future of our church, of our synod, <laughs> and giving support to those young people so that they have a positive Christian education is going to help convince them, even if they aren't pastors and teachers someday, to be participants in their own congregations and to see if, if they're getting that support from people that they don't even know, they're, it's showing Christ love and then they're gonna show it to other people later when they're older and in a, in a place where they can contribute with their time and money and talents. I believe one of the greatest blessings of Kettle is the fact that it is surrounded by an incredible federation of, of churches and schools. Um, and it, it's not just financial support either. I think it's so easy as a congregation or even as a church member um, to be so concerned that, oh well, Kettle just wants our money, they just want our offerings. No, we would not exist without you. We would not exist without the congregational support. We would not exist without your students that you send from your grade school. Um, and so the blessings that we are experiencing here and that I've experienced in the last four or five years truly are because of the incredible support that we have from our Federation churches and schools. And when we are able as a high school to experience um, growth and expansion and all of these wonderful things that we have happening here, it starts with the Federation schools, the churches, and the individual families um, that make that conscious decision to put God's kingdom first, God's word first, um, and support the schools like Kettle that, that put God's word as the number one priority.
Another wonderful thing about being a part of our federation is that we all get to work together and all uh, get to reap the benefits of what happens here. A lot of the students I see uh, are working on their musical talents and not only do we get to use those skills here right now um, when we come and visit our churches, but when they graduate from here and go off to college or um, you know stay in the area, they can use those talents right in your church uh, performing music and, and worshiping their Savior right with you. We're here for you and, and we're we're, uh, we want you to be here. Hello, my name is Jamie Learing, and I have the privilege and honor to serve as the president of Kettle Moraine Lutheran High School. You had a chance in this video to meet some of our teachers, to understand our culture from their perspective. So what does make our culture special? It's because it's built on the foundation of God's love for us. And God's love compels us to make sure that we're living His way, how He defines in Scripture, so that we can have that special culture that He has designed. We pray that God would continue to bless our work together as we live in a sinful world full of strife and pain and struggle. We pray that we can be the light as we provide a Christ-guided success path for all of our students here at KML. We thank you for your prayers and your support. We thank you for the critical work that you do as a member of our KML family. Thank you.